Hey everybody, welcome back to MTG Kirby's. Today we're doing an Jesus. opening of Guilds of Ravnica. Finally! We're we are <laughs> finally to the Guilds of Ravnica. Uh, oh Ravnica God. Allegiance yeah. is coming out, so we decided to do Guilds of Ravnica. Let's get into it! Woo! By the time you see this, Allegiance will already be out, won't it? Is that? No, that's next week. Is it next week? Okay. This week and... Oh, the weekend we're recording this is pre-release. Yeah, that's right. So, we're looking for Assassin's Trophy. I wouldn't mind uh, Vraska, Golgari Queen. Uh, there's Raul, is it Viceroy? Is pretty good. Yeah, it's just Ultimate Masters. No. Yeah, it's set back up like they usually are. Comments in front. All right. Glaive of the Guild Pact. Sucks. House Guild Mage. All right. Wand of <laughs> Vertebridge. Eh, yeah, sucks. Vertebrae. Uh, yeah. You know. Chromatic Lantern. Hey, yeah, that's pretty good. So, not bad. Oh. All right. Uh, the guild gates are back, of course. Per delusion. <laughs> I'm not sure there's anything even in the uncommon slot worth looking at. So we can check the first few packs, but after that, I'm. We can probably just skip it. Okay. The rares are what we want. All right, we got a lava coil. Hellkite whip. Oh, hold on. Cat decided to join us. Pilfering Imp. And Find or Finality. That's a guild gate. Okay. Broken. Whoops. City Necrolisk. Hmm. Name. Sunholm Stalwart. Conclave Guild Mage. Ooh, our first mythic. Ooh, what is it? <laughs> okay. Dream Eater, which is a Nightmare Sphinx. Huh. So, two blue and four. Flash flying, and it's a 4 3. When Dream Eater. Enters the battlefield. Surveil four. Woo. When you do, you may return target non land permanent and opponent controls to its owner's hand. That's pretty good, actually. All right. I can't tell, but a couple of these actually do have indents in, in them. Yeah, this, I think that's just a cutting error. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, Let of Champion. Guild Summit. Crawl Swarm. And Ionize. Is the rare there? Hmm. A red blue counter spell. Good old is it. I also like that they in this set they put the watermark of the guild on the card. Swarm Guild Mage. Ocarin Assassin. Rampaging Monument. That just makes me think of the Battle of Hogwarts. Vivid Revival. Is the rare hmm. No, we got a foil. Come on, there we go. Okay. And a common, of course. Wild Ceratok. Ooh. Wow, that actually looks good. Yeah. That works crazy. Crawl Harpooner. Chemistry's Insight. Lot less giant. And 
and risk factor. Hmm. <laughs> Just got a foil. <laughs> That's an interesting. A red and two, and it's like the target opponent gets to choose which they think is least bad. Either they take four or you draw three cards. Uh, we got a wall of mist foil. Ooh. The foils don't look bad in this version so yeah, far. Yeah, like actual... Let's see. Not... Doesn't look like there's much curling. A little bit on this side, but... Night Veil Sprite. Plague Crafter. Swarth Cutter Giant. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Another troll. Charnel Troll. Green, black, one, four, four, trample. The grave your upkeep, exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, put a one, one counter on Charnel Troll, otherwise sacrifice it. You can pay a green and a black to discard a creature card and put a 1-1 counter on Charnel Troll. Hmm. I guess I could be good in the right circumstances, but... It seems weird. Invert or invent. And split cards. Yay! Vraska Emblem. <laughs> There's a Vraska Emblem, now we just need Vraska to go with it. And we're... We're supposed to quite be there yet, but oh well. Grappling Sundu. Demir Spybog. Watery Grave. Hey! There, there we, we go. go. Shocklands. How about you guys? But I really like having these emblems when you play the Planeswalker. Because if you actually get a chance to do the ultimate, you know, an emblem is a thing that never goes anywhere, but if you don't remember you have it, you might forget to use it. Yeah. Gagari Raiders. Whispering Snitch. Uh, Golgari Finebroker. Hey! Sacred Foundry. Hey, there's another Two one. Two in a row. <laughs> These are so good. Not quite as good as the fetch lands. But I also think they're less broken than the fetch lands. They're also really good if you fetch them with the fetch yes. lands. Uh, crackling Drake. Selective Snare. Goblin Banneret. And Assure or Assemble. Hmm. Conclave Cavalier. Yeah, thought Erasure. Sprouting Renewal. Legion War Boss. Okay. Goblins are always good. Gotta have something for those red players to do besides strike damage. <laughs> we just got a regular wall of mist. Justice Strike. Smelt Ward Minotaur. Hmm. Inspiring Unicorn. Yay! Our second mythic. Aurelia, Exemplar of Justice. Hmm, okay. She is a uh, white red, too. I know you guys can read this, I just don't know what they do, so I'm reading it out loud myself. 2 5 Flying Mentor. At the beginning of combat, on your turn, choose up to one target creature you control. Until end of turn, that creature gets plus two, plus zero, gains trample, and if it's red, if it's red, and gains vigilance if it's white. Hmm. So you can make, if you wanted to, you could make her a four or five, which would increase the amount she mentors, which is good. Invert or invent again. District guide. Another selective snare. Blood operative. Ooh. You'll like that. You and your sucky vampires. <laughs> These guys are good, especially if you make a surveil deck. I really like surveil.
We could probably start skipping the uncommons now. Okay, good. Uh, Gargoyle. Electrostatic Field, which is a defender. Freaking chill. Venerated Loxodon? Ooh, the Loxodons. The elephant people. I just like the artwork on that one. The Colossus. Mm. Etrata, the silencer. Hey, there I still want to make a deck with... wonder if there's a modern deck to be made out of that. Experimental Frenzy. Okay. Enchantment that costs a red and three. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may play the top card of your library. You can't play cards from your hand. And pay for destroy experimental frenzy. <laughs> uh, another one. Oops. Whoops. I'm sure and assemble again. Yeah. Okay, we're getting duplicates here. We haven't seen a. Vraska or Rao or uh, Assassin's Trophy. I think there's another creature that's worth quite a bit in this set. Drowned Secrets. Okay. Be good for a friend who likes to mill. Imara, Soul of the Accord. Hmm. For a white and a green, she just pulled something good. She's smiling in the background. But anyway, for a white and a green, 2-2. Two, two. It's not great. Whenever she funny. becomes tapped, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier with lifelink. Ah! So we get the Rawl emblem, but yeah, no Rawl. Okay, so we got, so got Rawl and Vraska's emblems, but we haven't seen them yet. Erratic Cyclops. We have a Foil Mythic. What? March of the Multitudes. Hmm. I don't know if that's one of the better Mythics or not, but mm. Foil Mythic, so Two white, score. white, white, green, X, and it has Convoke. Create X Soldier, 1-1 one, one Soldier Tokens with Lifeline. That is not bad. I think that might be our first ever Foil Mythic we've pulled. Holy fuck, another mythic. Ooh. Not foil. Mnemonic Betrayal. None of the Planeswalkers. It's a black, blue, and one. Exile all cards from all opponents' graveyards. You may cast those cards this turn, and you may spend mana as though or mana of any type to cast those spells. At the beginning of the next end step, if any of those cards remain exiled, return them to their owner's graveyards. Then exile Mnemonic Betrayal. Ugh, that just seems like it's a lot of hoops to jump through. Unmoored Ego is the rare for that one. Oh, I actually really like this. Uh, black, a blue, and one. Choose a card name. Search target opponent's graveyard hand in the library for up to four cards with that name and exile them. So, I mean, this could be, you know, kryptonite to a deck that relies on a certain card. And we have a foil uncommon, Hazda Marshall. Foils are really nice in this set. Hmm. Hey, but is this anybody else thinking what I'm thinking? Cart Clan Ironworks. Fuck you. <laughs> Mission briefing. That's another one I really like. It's basically Snapcaster Mage without the creature attached to it. Which is fine because this is a lot less expensive than Snapcaster <laughs> Mage. Uh, it's an uncommon, but affectionate Indrick. I don't know why, that just makes me smile. <laughs> like a dinosaur that's nuzzling people? Yes. Or a beast? Hey! Steam vents! Alright, it's three. Three of the shocks. And a foil. Never happened. Ooh, look at the stuff coming out of that guy's eyes. 
crazy. What is, is she like pulling his memories out there? I think that's, that's what I'm getting <laughs> out of that, but that might just be Harry Potter coming to mind. And where is Mausoleum Secrets? Okay. Come on, where the hell are Graska and Rolf? Got the damn emblems. Uh, we've gotten, what, four mythics, though, so far? Yeah, so and might one was be. a foil, so that might be. Might be tapped out of Mythics for this box. Nope. <laughs> Another mnemonic... Ugh! <laughs> A second mnemonic betrayal? Come on, box. I think there's some shady stuff going on here. I think... I think Rudy repacked this box. <laughs> we did buy this from him, so... Uh, Narcomoeba. Narcomoeba is good for dredge decks. Elf Knight. Not and worth anything. A foil Demir Informant. Hmm. Hey, Necrotic Wound. And, ooh. Overgrown Tool. <laughs> Alright, so. Three out of five? Four, I believe. Yeah, it's four. Wow. Okay. So four out of the five shock lands we've gotten. We've actually done really well, even if we haven't gotten enough. Yeah. Nebraska or Raw. But all our mythics are fairly bad. Bounty agent. Hmm. And a foil Legion Guild Mage. Uncommon. Hmm. Whoops. <laughs> a big pile of empty packs piling up there. Yep. Expansion or explosion? Hmm. God, it's got like ten soldier tokens over there now. Hmm. That's pretty, that's actually a really good one, that. So you get a, a decent early game card in expansion and a, a pretty good late game card in explosion. That's not bad. A regular Legion Guild Mage. Camaraderie. Last five. The final five. Previously on Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> you shut up. Everybody loves Battlestar except you. Part of it. I hate the ending. Because the guy who was writing it was a hack. Just like I hate the ending of the Mass Effect trilogy, but. Bounty of Might. <laughs> I Which I just think is funny. I like that they do target creature gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. They print that three times instead of saying. Three creatures. Yeah, three creatures or choose up to three creatures. And a foil <laughs> uncommon, again, Might of the Masses. We've had quite a few foils. I guess with this, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe because it's worded that way, you could target the same creature three times. Oh, yeah. You have a plus nine, plus nine for six mana. Hmm. Another split. Uh, connive or concoct? That's, not, not bad, actually. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. All right. Gain control of creatures or return a creature from the graveyard to the battlefield. All right. Concoct is pretty actually crazy. You get to surveil three and then bring a great creature from the graveyard to the battlefield for five mana. All right. Knight of Autumn. Okay. Selesnia. Second to last. <laughs> will, we f will we get a Planeswalker or will we get the last Shockland? Last Shockland would be nice. We'd have a full set. It's a creepy fucking artwork on that. Hmm. 
regular might of the masses. So hmm. we seem to be getting all the foil ones and then getting the actual regular ones. Oh, Imara, Soul of the Accord. Again. <laughs> Another copy. Hey, foil chromatic hey, lantern. There we go. That's pretty good. Yeah, look at that. There we go. That was a nice pull. <laughs> I think we're done with mythics, but I think Chromatic right. Lantern's an odd card because I think a lot of people play it when they shouldn't, and a lot of people who should play it don't. Temple Garden. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is that all five, or did we get a copy? I, Let's see. I don't know if that was all five or not. I'm looking. So there's one, two, three... Uh, ba, 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 four, five. Nope, that is all five. Wow. That is so surprising. The, the very last pack. There they are. The Shocklands from this set. All five in one box. That, that's a all right. really good pull. So let's pause it up and see what we got. All right, so we just scanned the cards. And, of course, the all the money was in the Shocklands. Um, we made, what, $84? Yeah, somewhere around there. change. That's counting all the, the piddly little stuff. We spent 70 on the box, so we made a little bit of money. Um, but Shocklands, we got all five out of one yeah, box. All five Shocklands in one box, and a foil Chromatic Lantern, and a foil March of the Multitudes, which was Nerd. like 15 bucks right there, but split yeah. between the two. So we didn't do too bad, didn't do great. Friggin' copies of Mythics is never great, but... It's the five the five shocks is I'm still still really impressed about that. That's that's a weird occurrence. So all right. I don't know what we're gonna do next week, but we'll figure something out. So until then, say bye, honeybee. Bye, honeybee. Those are some killer bees. Those are some killer bees. Those are some killer bees.